In this video, we're going to have a look at how to find the equation of a straight line using the equation y minus b equals m x minus a. Now, you're all familiar enough with using the equation uh, of a straight line in the form of y equals mx plus c, where m is your gradient and c is your y-intercept. Now, that's all good and well if you're given uh, the y-intercept and if you're given the gradient. But in a scenario such as this, you're asked to find the straight line and you're not given the y-intercept. There's no mention made of it. All you've got is the gradient and the point through which the line goes. So we obviously can't use the equation y equals mx plus c because we don't have the information we need to come up with what it ought to be. So we have to use uh, a second equation and I'll show you uh, where that comes from first. It's an equation you need to know uh, and an equation you need to learn. But we'll see first of all where it comes from. Now, you guys know already that the gradient of a line can be found by finding the difference between the y values of two points and dividing that by the difference between two x values. Okay, where you have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. Okay, now using that and remembering, bearing that in mind, if we then look at two points on a line, we'll call one of them AB and call the other one XY, then we can say, well, the gradient of that line is, again, the difference between the Ys, which this time will be just Y minus B. And we divide that by the difference between the Xs, which this time will be X minus A. Now, if I multiply both sides by X minus A, what I end up with is M bracket x minus a and then when I multiply the right hand side by x minus a this disappears and we end up just with y minus b and if I just swap the sides around what I end up with is the formula that I'm going to use and that is y minus b equals m brackets and x minus a close your bracket that's a formula you need to know you need to learn it and you need to know uh, that m is your gradient, and you need to know that ab is just a point through which the line goes, any point at all. So we'll just say that m is the gradient, and ab is a point, okay? <clears throat> now, armed with this equation now, we can tackle the questions that are to come where you'll be asked to find the equation of straight lines when you're given the gradient and a point, or maybe even when you're given two points. Okay, so let's have a look at a few examples and see how we get on. So, firstly, the first thing that you maybe want to do is, once you've read the question and you've decided, well, you're going to have to use the equation y minus b equals m x minus a, the first thing you should do is just identify what m is and also identify what your point is, okay? So M is 3 here, and the point AB is 6, 2. Okay, so 6 is A, and B is 2. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get cracking. So the first thing you do is write your equation. Y minus B equals M X minus A. And then all you have to do is sub in these three values. Sub in the M, the A, and the B. Okay, so what we say is y minus 2 equals 3 in bracket x minus 6. Now, that is the equation of the straight line. But what we want to do is write it in the form of y equals mx plus c, because that's a much more user-friendly uh, form of, of the equation. And very often, especially as you, as you go on, uh, into higher, etc., you will be perhaps asked to find the equation of a straight line and then go on and use it. So you want it, it's in your own best interests to have it in as user-friendly a format as possible. So what we'll do is we'll multiply the brackets and then we'll make y our subject. So this becomes y minus 2 equals 3x minus 18 and then adding 2 to both sides gives me that y is equal to 3x minus 16. And that's you finished. Okay? That's the equation of that straight line. Let's have a look at another example. 
<clears throat> so here we have again, we'll say what m is, m is two thirds this time, and our point AB is eight, negative five. Okay, so writing our equation, y minus b equals m x minus a, we can then start subbing in the values. So we'll say the y minus negative 5, okay, be careful with the negatives, is equal to m, now m was 2 thirds, okay, and then in brackets we've got x minus a, which will be x minus 8, okay. Now tidying that up a wee bit, we end up with y plus 5 equals 2 thirds of x minus 8. Now again we want to tidy up our equation so that we have y as the subject, okay? We want it in the form of y equals mx plus c. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll multiply the brackets first of all. So we'll say that's going to be y plus 5 is equal to 2 thirds of x minus now 2 thirds of 8, that's going to be 2 times 8, which will be 16, so it's negative 16 over 3. Okay. <clears throat> now, what am I going to do next? Well, I've got these 3s on the bottom, so what I'll do is I'll multiply everything by 3. So that gives me 3y plus 15 is equal to 2x minus 16. And then if I take away 15 from both sides, I end up with 3y equals 2x. And if I'm taking away 15, I end up with minus 31. And then what I can do is perhaps just write it as dividing everything by 3. We can say that y equals 2 thirds of x minus 31 over 3. Okay? And that will do. All right? Let's have a look at another example. Now this time, we're not given the gradient. We're just told to find the equation of the straight line which passes through two points. So what I have to do is find the gradient first of all. And remember, if we have x1, y1, x2, y2, we can say, well, the gradient is going to be y2 minus y1, which is 7, take away negative 5. Then we're dividing by x2 minus x1, so that's negative 1, take away 3. So that makes 12. And I'm dividing by negative 4, which gives me a gradient of negative 3. Okay. So, the next thing I have to do is choose a point. Now, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, it's six and half a dozen, really. If you can, choose the one that's easiest to work with, but um, there's no real point that's easier than the other here. So, what we'll do is we'll just say that AB is... 3, negative 5. It doesn't matter which of the points you choose, as long as it's a point through which the line goes. You'll be fine. So, we've got all our information, so we'll start by subbing in what we know. So, y minus b equals m x minus a. So, we can say y minus b. Now, b is negative. It's negative 5, so you're going to be taking away negative 5. Okay? And then your m is negative 3. Then it's x minus a. a is 3, so you're taking away the 3. Then we can tidy things up a wee bit. So we end up with y plus 5 is equal to negative 3 x to negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. And then all I need to do is take away 5 from both sides, and I can get y as my subject. So they cancel. I end up with y equals negative 3x, and then plus 4. And that is your final equation, okay? In the most user-friendly format possible. All right? So, here are a few questions for you to try yourselves, okay? So, what we'll do is we'll just run through the three of them, and you can pause the video and tackle each one um, at a time. Okay, so find the, the equation of a straight line with a gradient of 4 passing through the point 6, 1. Pause the video, see how you get on. So, in this question, m is 4, and the point AB 
is 6, 1. Okay, so we'll say y minus b equals m x minus a, and then you can sub in your values y minus 1 equals 4 brackets x minus 6. Okay, and then we can multiply the brackets and say y minus 1 equals 4x minus 24, <clears throat> and then by adding 1 to both sides, we end up with y equals 4x minus 23. Okay, so adding 1 to both sides gives us that. Alright, so I hope you get on fine with that one. Use the next one for you to try yourselves. So pause the video again and see how you get on. So in this one, your gradient is a half, and your point AB is negative 6, negative 8. So we'll say that y minus b equals m x minus a, and that gives us y minus negative 8, and then that's equal to a half of x minus a, so you're taking away negative 6. Okay, remember two negatives side by side make a positive. So you have y plus 8 equals a half, and then in here we've got x plus 6. Alright? Now multiplying out the brackets, we get y plus 8 equals a half of x plus 3, and then taking 8 away from both sides, what do we end up with? We end up with y on its own. And that's going to be equal to a half of x, and then minus 5. Okay? Now, one last one for you to try yourselves. This time, we would given two points. Okay, you would given the two points, 3, negative 4, and negative 1, negative 12. So pause the video and see how you get on with this yourselves. In this one, if you call this point x1, y1, call the second point x2, y2, you can see that your gradient is going to be y2 minus y1. So negative 12, take away negative 4. Be careful with the negatives. Okay, negative 12, take away negative 4. And then you divide that by x2 minus x1. So it's negative 1, take away 3. Now, what does that give us? That gives me negative 12 plus 4, which is negative 8. What does this give me? Negative 4. So you've got a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive, so you have a gradient of positive 2. Now, it doesn't matter which point you choose as a, b. It's 6 and half a dozen, so we'll just choose the first one. We'll say that a, b is 3, negative 4. Okay? So a, b is 3, negative 4. So, let's write our equation, y minus b equals m x minus a, okay? And we'll plug in what we know. So, y minus b, so that's going to be y minus negative 4. And then that's equal to 2, which is your gradient. And then in a bracket, you're going to have x minus 3. Okay? And then we can tidy things up a wee bit. And that gives us y plus 4, which is equal to 2x minus 6. And then if we take 4 away from both sides, we end up with an equation which has y as its subject. So you have y is equal to 2x minus 10. And that's your equation. So that's how you find the equation of a straight line when you're given the gradient and a point or when you're given two points through which the line goes. So remember the formula uh, y minus b equals mx minus a. That's the equation of the straight line and that's something that you need to learn and you need to know. So I hope that was helpful.